because uh, Orlando, Florida has some of the biggest water parks in the world, and I want to go down the huge slides because it'd be entertaining. I want to go to the Space Center to learn about all the planets and see the stations. I want to go to Animal Kingdom because there's this ride that takes you to the safari and you can see all the animals and learn about them. to this Belize Zoo and City Tour because I want to see all the animals. I want to go zip lining through all the forests so you can see a ton of cool animals and I want to go cave tubing so you can go on through their caves. Um, in Belize City I want to go horseback riding because it's fun to ride horses and you can see all the beautiful land. I want to go scuba diving because Belize is one of the best places in the world to go scuba diving. Our next stop is Isla Roatan, Honduras, and there are also many things to do there and also learn. In Honduras, I want to go to all the beaches and go swimming in the ocean with my friends and my son. I want to go on the canopy tour because you get to walk on the canopy and like zip line and look all the animals. I want to experience local culture and local food. I want to see all the millions of types of monkeys and birds. I want to go on ATV or Jeep adventure because it would be really fun to ride a Jeep around the beautiful land. I want to go see all the beautiful beaches. I want to experience local culture because I think it's important to know about their culture. About their culture. On this ship, there are lots of things to, things to do, but one of the main things I want to do is mini golfing, because it's like regular golfing, but smaller. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to all the live shows, such as comedians and hypnotists.
depending on which airline you go on, even though we're trying to all go on the same flight. The entertainment off the ship is not included, so if we stop somewhere in Mexico and you want to go to Blue Dragon or something, that's not included. Once you get to Orlando, Florida, the price is not included, or what you do there is not included <laughs> in the price. Um, the cruise leaves on May 10th next year, and it goes to May 17th. It's a seven-day cruise, and it's from Saturday to Saturday. An example of flight is from Portland to Orlando, Florida, and it would be 10 hours from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. with one stop in Seattle, and on the way back, it would be from Portland. Orlando to Portland, and it'd be about, it'd be from 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. with one stop in Los Angeles. We will plan all the trip details and search for all the best group discounts, and we will provide information on what to do and answer any questions that you guys have about the trip. Okay, we will not take your money, like you have to pay for everything by yourself, and we won't provide chaperones, so you have to get your parents to go. <laughs> and you have to guarantee, and we can't guarantee anything. Any <laughs> questions? Will there be fundraising? Um, you can fundraise on your own, because we're not, we're not setting up any Um, it would be about, uh, if you, if you and one parent would go, it would be about $2,000, and you would end up paying $145 per month, like savings. And that would mean each one okay. of them had to have a separate room, because the room was 600 bucks. Right? No, it's, um, plus double occupancy. it's so like, so. for the whole cruise, plus the room is $600. Well, it's depending on how much, how many people in a room you have. <laughs> okay. So it's the six hundred dollars per room with four people to the room. Is that what the cost is? Well, it's six hundred dollars per person, but like for based on double. I mean, that's what I mean. But you're, it's six hundred dollars per double. person, assuming that you're two per room. Two per room. Yeah, it's okay. cheaper if you have four per room. Yeah, yeah. inside yeah. cabin. Yeah, yeah. it's cheaper. Know. The cheapest room for four people is like four hundred and. Thirty-nine each. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. You don't want those rooms. Oh, they're in the bottom. They're down inside. Down. They're dark. I love those rooms because the sun doesn't wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Knock your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is our timeline. So on April first, um, can you please or please tell us if you're interested by then, so we can get the group discounts. Um, you can sign up. For, if you want to get informational, like emails and stuff, you can sign up in the back. There's a second sheet. Um, we'll tell you, we'll have all the information about the flights by June. So it's June 2015. And after June, we'll provide more details about the trip. Um, May 9th. 2014, we will um, board the plane in Orlando, in Portland. On May 10th, 2014, the cruise will leave for Florida, and on May, May 17th, it'll be back. And we'll back to Washington. Yeah. What kind of a deposit do you put down from on June when you book the cruise? You think don't. It's $300? Yeah, 300 For a family? Like for one person? Each. And is this a week off of school? Uh, well, it leaves uh, on Saturday, so. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys are out of school by then. And there's no. not, it's not spring break it's or nothing? It, yeah. It's during school. It's, it leaves two days after the BC trip. So, yeah. How are we getting from Orlando to the ship? You are driving. Do you have to rent a car? Taxi. There's, there's shuttles you can buy through the cruise lines. Yeah. Cruise lines always just provide shuttles. As a separate price or included in the price? Pardon? Uh, included in the price or a separate price? Generally, it's the same price yeah. they have. They pick you up there and bring buses. Most of the time. Yeah. 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 Ye
They don't not watch the news lately. They don't. No. That's why I'm kind of curious. <laughs> the ships have been dropping off like flies. Okay. Does anyone stuck out of well, no, it'll be fixed by then. It's not for another year and a couple months. Cameron. Okay. We like 24 hours. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cameron. It's always free. Yes. Settle down, guys. Settle down. <laughs> you mentioned something about, uh, you mentioned probably 10 things per slide of the things you would like to do when you go off the ship onto the shore. And did you um, come up with some examples of what those things might cost just so people would have an idea? Like if you do go swimming with the dolphins or if you do do scuba diving or if you go to the mine room, how much do those excursions cost? Um, I'm not really sure. But I know there's a couple of free things in some, like the, if you go to like the beaches, it's like free and it's like you walk around town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the prices are on Carnival.com. If you put the, if you pretend you're planning your cruise, you can pretend you're going on this cruise and all the shore excursions will come. Why would you pretend when you can just go on? Right. <laughs> 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 